Guys, guys, we are coming to hatch again with a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 20. Those are the Phillies franchise right now in the postseason in the NLDS. It's game one against the Chicago Cubs. And if there's a team that went from most lovable to most hated or most disliked or most, you know, irked fan bases, you know, it has to go from... Definitely the Astros. Astros are definitely up there. And then there's the Chicago Cubs. They won the World Series. Everyone is happy for them. But now it's just everyone's tired of listening to them all complain. It's like, oh, the Chris Bryant saga, the manipulation of arbitration. Now they got Wilson Contreras and they got Javi Baez. And everyone's just tired of everything that has to do with the Cubs. Yeah, they tried, they sent all these big players, they signed the U Darvishes, the John Lesters, and then they kind of pan out, but then they don't, and now they're, they're in a position right now where they kind of have to be forced to sort of rebuild yet again, because there's no way they can pay for all of their young premier talent, but, hey, it is what it is, and we're taking on Kyle Hendricks, the ace of the staff. You know, that Greg Maddox type doesn't throw a fastball harder than like 90 miles an hour. Considered trading for Hendricks, but at his age, he's starting to regress naturally. I mean, he is only in his young 30s, so wouldn't be drastic, but I'm afraid that, you know, with his big contract and everything, it would not be worth it. But on the top of the first, with one out, Bright Harper takes the high fastball deep to right field. A solo shot, 440 feet to right field. 115.2 off the bat, his first home run of the NLDS right there. Look at that no contact celebration right there with the third base coach, keeping that, you know, keeping everything clean right there. No contact. I mean the high five with Hoskins. But it's okay. Even they do some, do some elbow bumps. But get a replay of that home right there. That right down the chute. Wilson Contreras just watched it. The umpire watched it. The second baseman's keeled over. The second base umpire is watching. The center fielder is looking up at the sky for whatever reason. Not even watching the home run. Looks like that one almost cleared the sign in right field. But 2 2 count right there. Hendricks going to get the called strike three there. Home plate umpire saying that Hoskins went around. He wasn't too thrilled with it, but it is what it is. Alec Baum up now, and Baum connects with this one, gets the head on that, and just deposits that change up into right center field. Baum with his 54 speed. Going to cruise into third base right there, or second base, I'm sorry, with a double. Aaron Nolan Mount for the Phillies had a huge fall off in the second half of the season. Went from, what, 13-2 and to 14-10 and or something like that. Cy Young season out the door right there, but 315 ERA. Almost 30 strikeouts. Not a bad season as a whole for Nola, but Jason Kipnis up now, and Kipnis goes down via the punch-up. First strike out of the game, four. Aaron Nola, take a look at the postseason bracket. Take a look at everyone in there. And it's a, uh, it's a pretty deep one. Yeah, I would really enjoy playing the Braves in the NLCS. Be a real NL East matchup. But with two outs in the first inning, going to be a two-out double for Chris Bryant right there. As that one just falls outside of Harper's reach and scoots all the way to the right field wall. Look at him go. Look at him celebrate. And now Javi Baez up and Javi Baez goes down via the punch out right there. So two strikeouts in the inning as Aaron Nola does not allow any runs after the two out double. Bryson side up now, 1-1 one, one count and Stott takes that low changeup and golf swings that one to deep right field off of the Wrigley Field side in right. That's going to be the second solo home run of the game for the Phillies. Second home run by Kyle Hendricks. 23 feet, 108.2 off the bat. Not that bad of a home run for the young shortstop here in Philadelphia. You love to see it when the young guys get everything going. But two home runs from the lefties. Look at Stott. Just not a great swing. It looks like he kind of stopped. Managed the animation. The way the animation kind of made it look super choppy. But hey, a home run is a home run. Gives Philadelphia a 2 nothing lead. And now James McCann comes up and McCann swings that ball four right there. Second strike out of the game for Hendricks and two outs now in the second inning. One out now in the second for the Cubs and Wilson Contreras. We were talking about him earlier. 
takes Heronola deep to left right there. That's going to be a solo shot. His first of the NLDS, 443 feet, 109.9 off the bat. The Cubs bullpen, they're dancing, I guess. They're doing something. Not really sure what they're actually doing over there. But, hey, if if they enjoy it, they enjoy it. If they think that looks like it look cool, I mean, it doesn't. And now Kyle Schwarber up, and Schwarber gets himself a lucky hit right there. Bounces off the first base bag right there. It's going to be a single. And now Matt Adams up, and Adams going to find a hole right there. So back-to-back -back singles now with one out. For, allowed by Aaron Nola as the Cubs are in motion. And for catching up now, 3-2 Kyle McCutcheon. Swings and misses at the changeup inside. Third strike of the game for Kyle Hendricks. Now Bryce Harper had a home run in the first inning. Going to get a walk right now in the third inning. So, runner on first base. Now one out for the Phillies as Hendricks needs to find a way to work out of this jam right here because the Phillies, you get a runner on, they can score at will. Reese Hoskins up now on Hoskins. They say he went around yet again. So second time this game he's had a called strike three on him. And Alec Baum goes down via the punch out. So after a one out walk, Hendricks gets back to back strikeouts. Two strike out the side, not in order, unfortunately. Josh Reddick up now for the Cubs. And Reddick deposits that one into right field right there. It's going to be a leadoff single for Reddick as the Cubs have a man on now. Jason Kipnis up. And Kipnis going to line that one up the middle right there. You know, Adam Hazley gets to it quickly with his diamond fielding. Gets him a third, so back to back singles. Javi Baez up now, and Baez sends this one to center field. Long run for Hazel. He's playing deep. Hazley can't get there. Reddick will score from second, though. Runner will go to third. Baez in at first. So now Ian Happ up and Happ goes down via the puncher right there. Say that James can. He's showing some respect to Aaron Nola. And now Wilson Contreras up, and Contreras goes down via the punch out. So, after a run does score two punch shots, ends the inning for Aaron Nola. If there's ever a time you'd be missing JT Remoto's catching, he'll be right now. But Adam Hazley goes down looking this time. Called strike three, six punch of the game for Hendricks. Kingery up now, and Kingery swings at a ball way too low. Seventh punch of the game for Kyle. As he is cruising through seven innings, uh, four innings right now with the seven punch outs. Kyle Schwerber up now, 3-2 count, and Schwerber called strike three right there. Nola, fifth punch out of the game, so he's coming behind Hendricks. I mean, usually Nola's on point. He did lead the league in strikeouts this year. As we get the next batter strikeout, too. So, back-to-back -back strikeouts. That's his sixth punch out of the game. And now with Kyle Hendricks up, can he make it seven punch outs? And yes, one, two, three, goes the Cubs. Strikes out the side. Seven strikeouts on the day for Heron Nola. Cubs, Phillies tied through four. Now James McCann up, top of the fifth, goes down via the punch out. Eight strikeouts through four innings for Kyle Hendricks. 3-2 count to Aaron Nolan. Nola grounds that one to third base from Chris Bryant. Bryant over to first, pulls the first base from Matt Adams off the bag right there. It's going to be an error on Chris Bryant. E5 as Nola is now safe at first. Reddick up now, 2-2 count, and Reddick. Chops that one. Nola backhands, fires to first, calling him safe. Infield single right there. Okay, get a chance to challenge right there. And of course, we're going to challenge it right there. Why not? We never get the opportunity to say, so we're going to go get to, we're gonna go over there. Get, get New York on the phone. Come on, get him on the phone. Let's see if he's actually safe. And uh, yeah, he's safe. It's going to be a waste of a call right there, I guarantee it. It's going to be a very quick, very, very quick of that. Already already off. Already off the head. He's safe. Call stands safe at first base. Waste of a challenge right there for the Phillies and their manager. Now, Alec Baum up now on top of the six to two outs. It's going to be a high fly ball to right field. Caught by the right fielder right there. One, two, three inning for Hendricks as the go down in order. And now Baum the six up, Javi Baez batting and Baez swings at the high fastball right there. That's going to be the eighth punch out of the game for Heron Nola. And now 3-2 count to Ian Happ and Happ. Ball four right there as Ian Happ gets on base now at the one out walk. 
forcing Contreras up now. Contreras goes down via the punch out. So back to back strikeouts. That's two strikeouts in the inning. Nine on the day for Nola. And now Schwarber goes down via the punch out as well. So strikes out the side not in order after a one out walk. But Nola keeping the Cubs off the board after hung two runs so far through six innings. But Cubs manager not named Joe Madden or David Ross since. David Ross is in the game and neither is Joe Girardi, but Cubs manager will call in Tyler Olson in a seven games, he's 2-2, two two, 26 holds, with 79 innings pitch, 3-6 ERA, 146 whip, like, like about 90 strikeouts, 38 walks, not too bad, but the Phillies offense always does great against bullpen arms as soon as they come into the game as Adam Hazley, the first batter Olson sees in the NLDS, takes him deep center field right there. It's going to be a long drive to center field right there. 423 feet, 107.1 off the bat. Look at that Phillies manager there. Super happy. He's clapping away. You absolutely love to see that right there. Adam Hazley, a bright star on this team right there. Really showing you why he got that long-term extension last offseason. Here to stay with the Philadelphia Phillies. Top of the seventh right there. And it's going to be a walk right there. So after the home run, a walk issued by Olsen. As he's got to face at least one more batter before the Cubs manager can pull him as he does not have his A game so far. And now James McCann up two outs and McCann going to get that one to fall in that left center field gap right there. McCann being ballsy testing second base right there but he's himself a two out double after a double play. And a pinch hitter right now has Aaron Nola's day is officially done to be Chris Owings, the former Diamondback right there. You'll have to see it right there. One, two count as Owings gets that one grounder up the middle. Ian Happ charging. McCann rounding third coming home. That's going to give the Phillies a 4-2 lead with the pinch hit RBI single by Chris Owings right there. You'll love to see stuff like that happen. And now Alec Mills comes in as Olsen could not get out of his inning. Mills, 95 games, went 10 and 3, 16 holds, 97 innings pitch, 350 ERA, 121 whip, 88 punch outs, 241 walks. So, not an overall bad season for Alec Mills. Top of the seventh, and there you go. Ball for two out walk after the RBI single by pinch hitter Chris Owings. Is now two men around with two outs as Mills now has faced Bryce Harper and Harper. Goes down via the punch out right there. So Mills gets off easy right there facing Bryce Harper. Andrew Miller. And now former St. Louis Cardinal in 48 games. 0 and 2, 35 holes, 45 innings pitched to 248 rate, 0.89 whip. Pretty good season for the veteran as that ball will get down in the left center field gap. Right center field gap, I should say. Runner going to second base with a lead off double. So Miller. Gets rocked early as he's still looking for his first ring in the majors. Now, bottom of the seven. Still, here we go. David Bodie goes down via the punch out there. First punch of the game for Miller. And now Miller again. After the first punch out, a second punch out right there. You'll love to see it as Andrew Miller now gets out of the inning. Reese Haas is up now, taking on Mackenzie Mills. And Hoskins goes down via the punch out for the third time this game. Three college strikeouts for Reese Hoskins. Alec Baum also had problems getting that battle to shore, so he goes down looking as well. Adam Hazley swinging the bat this time at least, thinking the ball's going to probably be in the zone. Gets himself a two out single in the top of the eighth inning right there. And now here we go, Scott Kingery. Kingery gets that ball to go down the line. It's going to kick off that left field wall, though. I mean, if that ball goes to the wall, that's probably runners on second and third, if not a run scored. And now Bryson Stott comes up and Stott swings through the low ball right there. And that's going to end the inning. No runs across the plate right there as Mills does get out of a seamless eighth inning. But David Stia, former relief pitcher for the Tampa Bay Rays in 87 games, is 6 and 2, 27 holds, 91.18 pitch, a 217 ERA. 100 something strikeouts probably. Uh, bottom of the eighth though, there you go, gets the punch out to ending of Ian Happ. So, one, two, three, go. The Cubs has run to the top of the ninth inning now for the Phillies to try and get some insurance runs before going to the bottom of the ninth. Not David Ross back out again. You see Matt Adams right there because Anthony Rizzo left in free agency, went to New York. 
but Kyle Ryan up now, the 29 year old. He's 6'5, 115 pounds. I mean, okay. But James McCann right here. McCann sends that one deep to left center field. It's got the distance, it's got a chance, and a yes. Another lead off home run against a brand new relief pitcher as James McCann takes Kyle Ryan deep to left field. You love to see it looks like Ryan was probably a late addition as he had no stats on the season. So definitely just having to have been on roster fill up probably late in September. But McCann and the Phillies proved doubters wrong, saying that they easily take care of brand new relief pitchers. Pinch hitter right now. Brock Holt has Diego Castillo will not bat. And 3-2 count to Holt. And Holt gets himself a pinch hit walk. So after the home run, a walk to Holt now as the order will flip around with no one out in the inning. Hector Neris on now for the Phillies as he is looking for the save right there. 46 saves on the season out of 51 attempts. Not a bad season for the Phillies all-time saves leader Hector Neris. 2-2 two, two count. That's going to be a single up the middle right there. Stock quite couldn't get a glove on it. But it's all right. And Neris we trust. One out there to Matt Adams. And Adams sends that one to right center. Phillip Bowles going to get down Adam Hazley. Going to play it off the wall though. One run will score. Adams will be in at second safely. Throw not in time. Game is now a 5-3 to three ball game. Two outs now, and David Bodie ties it up in the ninth inning right there. A two-run home run. He came in as a defensive replacement late in the game as Naris blows the save in game one of the NLDS. You hate to see it. Cubs are threatened now with all the momentum to come up and uh, maybe win in the ninth inning with a walk-off. But not Joe Girardi is stunned. Nola in disbelief. You saw him shaking his head. It looked like Kurt Schilling whenever Mitch Williams came on the pitch. But Jason Kipnis with two outs gets a called strike three. So Naris does get it out of the inning after blowing the save. One two count. Therese Hoskins and Reese Hoskins connects with that high fastball. Sends that one deep to left field. And that ball is out of here. No doubt home run Reese Hoskins. He said, hey, I've been struggling this game. I struck out three times. We're not going to make it a fourth. We're going to make up for it with a big-time home run. 404 feet from the bat of Reese Hoskins. 106.6 off the bat. Not a bad home run at all from Reese Hoskins as the Phillies have retaken the lead late in this game. But... Alec Bomb up next, and it doesn't matter, though, what happens after this. As long as the Phillies can transition to, say, a Nick Anderson and shut the door on the Cubs, it's all that matters. Former Braves relief pitcher Craig Kimball in now, 79 games, he's 4-3. and three. 15 holds, 65 innings pitch, a 413 ERA. 94 strikeouts, a 39 walk, so not a great not a great season for Kimball as he's going to walk Alec Bomb right there, so... First batter in, and it's going to be a walk issue by Kimbrell. As now, Phillies harsh are rallying to maybe put up more runs here in the 10th inning. Kingery up now, and Kingery goes down via the punch shot right there on the slider. It's going to be Kimbrell's, you know, bread and butter pitch right there. Fastball in, slaughter away. As Nick Anderson comes in now in 50 games, he's 3 and 1. 5 for 14 on saves, 46 games pitch, a 270 ERA, a 124 whip, 63 punch outs to 16 walks. Chris Bryant goes down via the punch out. Called strike three right there. You'll love to see it. He seems quite unhappy. Javi Baez goes down swinging on the fastball high. So back to back punch out. Second punch out of the game for Anderson. As he is now one out away from closing the door on the Cubs. And you get a pinch hitter right here. You'll love to see it. Victor Cartini. Cartani. Cart Cartellini. Sorry, Victor, don't have to say your name, but it's going to be a ground ball to le the left side as Alec Baum throws over to first base nice and easy. Nick Anderson comes in, closes the door after Hector Nairn blows the save. You love to see that. You don't love to see the blown save, but you love to see the Philadelphia Phillies 
get the victory here at Wrigley. The Phillies victorious lead the series 1 nothing now. As hopefully the next time we have an next episode we're up 2 nothing and Philadelphia to hopefully sweep the Cubs. But with the one of series lead here against the Cubs, Philadelphia is definitely the favorites to win the series now. And against both teams, the LA Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves, especially the Atlanta Braves, they are probably going to be the favorites against those two teams now. We see James McCann came out clutch two hits, a home run, as Philadelphia does win an extras. And with a battery of Jamison Tyon and Spencer Howard following Aaron Nola, it is not going to be an easy series for the Cubs to win, as James McCann is your player of the game. He hit a home run hit. Got a double, I think. Single, had two RBIs in the game. So he had a very productive game here in Philadelphia. But if you guys did some submissions, hit that like button. Comment down below. I mean, are you guys excited to see if the Phillies can break their World Series list drought? Can they be the 2021 World Series champions? Can they start a dynasty here in the Roaring Twenties? But all that will be answered to start. I guess we'll start being answered next episode. But on Texas YouTube, peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. And uh, Ramon Liriano, Joe Kelly, you know, Gritty, all those people who troll the Astros, they're winning MLB right now. You heard it from me first. Just saying.